If you're anything like me, then you would have grown up with horrible histories on CBBC, a historical sketch comedy that is still hilarious to this day. But what you may not know is that the gang went on to create two more shows after Horrible Histories ended in 2014. The new Horrible Histories is she! Oh, yes, please, that would be amazing. What kind of tea? Uh, what sort do you have? None! Cake! Is this the same as the tea thing? Yes! Biscuits! Yonderland was the first show they made in 2013, presented on Sky One. It opened to mass success and spawned three full seasons and a Christmas special. People find it scary, apparently. <laughs> Can't think why. Ghosts was their second series, and it launched in 2019, with season two confirmed but delayed due to coronavirus. Yonderland is a yearly event for me. I will watch the entirety of Yonderland once a year, and I would have to say it is my second favourite TV show of all time. However, I have no implication to re-watch Ghosts, as it is nowhere near as good. The main problem with Ghosts is that the cast are stuck playing the same roles, who aren't really that funny. They also have help from Charlotte Ritchie, Killsmith Bino, Lolly Adafope, and Katie Wicks, and all of whom are hilarious on their own. But for some reason, no one can make me laugh. The thing with Yonderland is that the main six played all the roles, and the show included puppets that were made for a new interesting dynamic that also added to the humour. This meant that the world was ever changing and always had fun, new characters every week, as well as the fan favourites. And if one companion wasn't funny one week, you know damn well the next one would be. And because of this ability to branch out into new dynamic storylines each week, Yonderland was a success. Ghost quite literally trapped itself in a house with no distinct place to go. It feels bland and repetitive with the plot of the show not really going anywhere. You saw no distinguishable progress with the house renovation, so you didn't feel the satisfaction of the show moving forward and evolving. With Yonderland it splits its three main stories into three seasons, with them all being very different from one another, so you don't have to see the first season to watch the third. There were also jokes between each season, for example, Elf has a new face every time, and you get so used to that face you instantly forget it was different. It's subtle things like that that makes Yonderland so much different and better than Ghosts. When I heard the gang were making a new show on BBC, my hopes and expectations were very high. But when that first episode aired, I felt cheated. How can these talented people go on to make such garbage? I just want to say thank you for watching the video. I have so many ideas on how to improve ghosts, so if you want me to do that, let me know. Thanks for checking out the video, and I hope to see you again. The end.